Hey y'all, what's going on? It's me, Nessa D. I'm sitting here quietly just thinking and I've been purging before New Year's. I try to purge before the New Year's every year, get rid of old magazines, uh, shred paperwork, get rid of uh, boxes or gift bags and things that I don't need. And I, I've been able to almost fill one big old box of things. Oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to edit that well, y'all. So don't, don't charge it to my, my head. Charge it. Don't charge it to my heart. Charge it to my head. But I've been doing that today. I've been a quiet Sunday. I decided to stay in because literally two weeks ago I was in a car accident. So I feel like I still need to chill out a little bit. But yeah, y'all, everything is seems to be going as planned. I'm just, it's a lot going on. And I'm grateful to be back into my, my little tiny home where I am most comfortable. Um, so yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come on and say what's going on. Um, it's the debauchery. That's what I want to talk about, y'all, the debauchery. And I want to do this under 10 minutes, so I'm going to try to get out my main conversation of what I want to talk about. Look how my earrings stick out like this on my ears. I don't know if it's made to be that way, but I keep turning them like this, and then they end up like this. So this going, this, that's how they're going to be. But anyway, y'all, I'm tripping on the debauchery and the bamboozlement. And just the sheer craziness that's going on in the YouTube streets. Um, I have noticed there are people calling a group of people the welfare YouTubers. Something to that effect. Um, I just find that to be rude and I find that to be degrading. And I also feel that if someone is using welfare, that's their business. And that's what we pay taxes for to help people who are not able to provide uh, monetarily efficiently for their family or themselves. So I find that to be really rude. Um someone who's worked in the human resources uh de human resource department for years and child development and family development for years i find that to be rude but uh especially people who are trying their best to do what they can to take care of their family but um on 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 from that um it, it it's amazing to me and you know what i don't want to say i told you so I'm warming up, y'all. I don't want to say I told y'all so, but when I first started getting deep into the YouTube streets and watching these shows and stuff, watching these different YouTubers that are beefing back and forth, it has turned into a complete diagram, Venn diagram of drama. It is a Venn diagram of drama. And it all can circle back to... Two people. I ain't gonna say their name because y'all know. But it's amazing to me. The Venn diagram that is that has been created in the triple diagram that has been created in these YouTube streets. It's to the point now, people done lawyered up, honey. There are people who have restraining orders, gag orders. They have taken down their YouTube. They've taken down videos. Um, they've had to notify their jobs. They've had to change their phone numbers and some of their emails, or they've had to capture all this stuff because people are threatening people's lives, people's livelihood, threatening people's kids, talking nasty. Oh my God. It's like black folks gone wild let's just be true black folks have gone wild on the youtube streets and i'm telling y'all somebody said who was it i can't remember the person i wish i had their name 
they said in a comment, these white folks is going crazy laughing at us. Now, this ain't about bash white people. I'm just saying the comment that I saw and read. And what I take from that is it could be white, black, orange, green, Hispanic, Latin American, Native American, whatever. Um, Asian, whatever. Looking at this Venn diagram of drama, the debauchery, and they're like, we don't care. It's just more people on YouTube, more commercials for us, more money for us. But it comes to a point where when we got police involved and we're getting private detectives involved and, and, and state authorities and child protective services and human development services, human services, honey, that's not cute. That's not cute. Not one bit. Everybody needs to take a deep breath and step away. Everybody getting to the point where they're calling police and getting protective orders, they just need to step. I mean, this is ridiculous. It, I think it's to point. It's to the point where some it's it's some YouTubers can't they can't even back out of what's going on now. Because we got very popular YouTubers right now talking about, don't say their name on my page. Don't type their name on my page. Don't send me any information about them. And then turn around and talk about, if you have any information, if you have any uh, a emails, uh, text messages, pictures, videos, send them to me to support their case. Their defense. I mean, this is crazy. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to get our, God help me. I'm not trying to get involved to that level. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm trying to do this in two minutes, two more minutes. I was on a certain person's page months ago when I discovered them. And I was telling this, this young lady why are you yelling and screaming and cussing this lady out like this when she's trying to talk to you? Supposedly they're supposed to be having some sort of interview or some, some sort of confrontation about how they don't like each other. And the woman was talking about this woman like a pure D dog under the dirt living in the sewers. And so I'm under the live going, why don't you calm down so you can hear what she has to say? This could be a good interview. What's going on? I didn't know all the history because like I said, I was new. And the this person's, I guess, moderator came on and was like, you need to calm down. You need to be. I was like, what? I'm just ask, I'm just asking why she won't calm down to hear the mute, to hear the conversation. And you know what I, something told me not to go back and forth. You know what I did? I just said, okay. I just put a K and I was done. I'm I don't I'm not built like that. I'm not built to play these games. I'll watch for entertainment and I'll put my comments below. And y'all know, y'all see some of my comments. But as far as the debauchery and all this other mess, oh uh-uh. I don't have the ooh, I'm I can't do it. I'm I can't do it. I stay in the margin on that. Mm -mm, I ain't built for it. But I, I really hope everything works out and everybody is, this families are safe and protected from this drama. I'm going to stay right over here in my little unit and chill.